Special use airspace consists of prohibited, restricted, warning, military operation, alert, and controlled firing areas. All these, except controlled firing areas, are charted on terminal and sectional charts. Prohibited areas specifically prohibit aircraft flight, period. The prohibited airspace P-40 protects the presidential retreat at Camp David in north-central Maryland. The tabulation of special use airspace on this chart defines its vertical extent to, but not including, 5,000 feet. It is in effect continuously. It's important to check the NOTAMs if you'll be flying around these areas. Some of the dimensions change in size. For example, P-40 expands from its normal diameter of 6 nautical miles to 20 nautical miles when the President is there. Restricted areas are defined as airspace where aircraft flight is subject to restrictions. Restricted Area 6612 is in effect to 7,000 feet Monday through Friday between 0800 and 1700 local time. At times other than those, R6612 can be activated with 48 hours notice. Therefore, pilots should check with the Washington Air Route Traffic Control Center whenever they plan to fly through this area. Warning areas are in international airspace. Activities in warning areas may be hazardous to non-participating aircraft. Warning areas cannot be designated restricted areas because they are over international waters. Warning Area W-72B on the Washington sectional chart advises flight in the area is hazardous. Military Operation Areas, MOAs, are segments of airspace defined by vertical and lateral limits used to segregate military training activities from aircraft operating under instrument flight rules. Most military training requires abrupt maneuvering and high speed. In a MOA, military pilots are exempted from FAA regulations prohibiting acrobatics in certain airspace and on federal airways. MOAs identify areas where these activities are conducted. Pilots should check with the ATC facility listed on the chart for real-time information about an MOA's status. VFR flight is permitted in active MOAs, but requires extreme caution and vigilance. IFR flights will usually not be cleared to fly through an active MOA. Alert areas are depicted on charts to warn pilots of a high volume of pilot training or other unusual aerial activity. All operations in an alert area are conducted according to federal aviation regulations. Pilots of participating and transit aircraft are equally responsible for collision avoidance. Alert Area A632E is established because of student jet training. Controlled firing areas have activities which, if not controlled, would be hazardous to non-participating aircraft. They are not charted because activities are suspended immediately when spotter aircraft, radar, or ground lookout positions indicate an aircraft might be approaching the area. Other airspace includes military training routes, temporary flight restrictions, parachute jump areas, and national security areas. Military training routes are mutually developed by the FAA and the Department of Defense. They are generally established below 10,000 feet MSL for operations at speeds above 250 knots. Terminal and sectional charts show MTRs used under VFR as VR and those flown under instrument flight rules as IR. Those MTRs with segments above 1,500 feet AGL are identified by a three-digit number. MTRs flown entirely below 1,500 feet AGL are identified by a four-digit number. Although pilots are not prohibited from flying on a military training route, you should be extremely vigilant when flying on, across, or near an MTR. Temporary flight restrictions may be imposed to protect persons or property in the air and on the ground. This may be to provide a safe environment for disaster relief aircraft and prevent an unsafe congestion of sightseeing and other aircraft in the area. Temporary flight restrictions and limitations are also implemented in areas visited or traveled by the President, Vice President, and other public figures. 
Presidential TFRs may be stationary during a visit or move along with the president as he travels. Check the NOTAMs for the latest information. Violation of this airspace could result in the use of deadly force. Temporary flight limitations in the proximity of spaceflight operations provide protection from hazards to pilots and spaceflight crews. Notification of temporary flight restrictions or limitations is made by NOTAMs. TFRs also exist around major sporting events below 3,000 feet and within three nautical miles, so check the sports schedule before you go off sightseeing over the stadium.